Welcome back to a Five Question Friday, filmed not on Friday, but we're here today <laughs> with Alexa Sponzi at Hard Knocks Pizza, and we're gonna um, hear a little bit about her story. So Alexa, what brought you to Knoxville? I moved to Knoxville in 2009, um, just for a change. I, one of my best friends lived here, and I was kind of just, I was young, and I picked up so why not? Yeah, and I love Knoxville. I will never leave. It's one of my favorite places. Oh, that's, great. So, yeah. that's great. So, okay, so when does Hard Knox become a part of your story? So, wow. So my husband and I got married in 2013. Okay. Um, and this was our first date when it was a little 1200 square foot spot. And um, yeah, and so I saw that they, I've always been in the restaurant business. I um, started when I was 15. And, so we came, um, loved the food and all that, and I, it was just an opportunity at that point um, to buy it. And so um, I talked to the original owners, and it was a quick process. So all of a sudden, like April, I started talking to them October 31st. You bought it. I bought it, yeah. That was 2014. 14, yeah. 2014. Yep. Yep. Since we are at the Bearden location, since we there's been an expansion. Yep. That was in. So that was two years later, so 2017 or 16. Okay. We expanded here and then I opened location number two in Harnham Valley in 2018. Okay. Yep. And talk a little bit about what it's like to be a woman in a business. Oh, wow. Um, it is challenging. Um, it's just, I feel like. In the Knoxville community, there's not a, lot, a ton of female-owned businesses, um, let alone restaurants. It's just different. It's a little bit more difficult, I feel like, but I, my husband and I always talk about it. And one thing that I kind of learned throughout the years is I use it as far as, not towards my advantage, but some sort of... Um, to differentiate. Yeah, and I think, and also too, just my heart is to build up leaders, and so what great opportunity to do that with women, and just have a younger generation, uh, and see that we can do it, and I can do it, and so. Well, Hard Knocks is synonymous with community involvement, yeah. so I know that's a yeah. passion of yours, so yeah. can you talk about some of the things Hard Knocks does with, sure. with the Knoxville folks? Thing? Yeah. So, on one of our values, we have seven values, and one of them is love of community, and that's truly just purely just my heart of it. I always say I own a pizza restaurant, but it's really about people. I just happen to own a pizza restaurant, um, and it's what I'm good at, and so I get to use it um, to help others. And that sounds really cliche, but it's true of who I am. And so, um, one bit, so wherever our stores are, whatever school is around, that's what we're gonna be heavily involved. And so one of them, so for Bearden, I just have this like, pull towards AE, Austin News. I always have since day one. And um, I started a School of Hard Knocks program at Austin East in 2015. Um, I've gotten, um, Chefs to come in, like it's just been this really cool program for Austin East Culinary Program to see different foods and different chefs, and a couple of them have gotten jobs from it. That's a really cool thing. And my GM of both stores, over both stores, is from that program. I, I he started working for me in high school, and now he's, and now he's yeah he's the GM of both restaurants. He doesn't yeah. So, so they believe in it here. It's it's not just uh, seven one of our seven values. Yes. It's, oh, it's we live it. You it's what we do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. We talk about our values every day. Yeah. So so tell. Okay. So hey, a pandemic happened, right? And we're yeah. a year in. So you guys are still open. We're here now. But talk what what that's been like and that how people can still come see you as Yeah. So. Funny story, I had a, my second child in March 13th. So, of last year? Uh-huh. Okay. America shut down the next day. Um, yeah. yeah, and so um, COVID taught me that my team is really resilient. And they taught me that our, our our values have like embodied, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but they have, they, my leaders exude who we are. And that it, it showed when we had 
nothing, you know. And the other part of it was how great my team was, but the other part was how amazing the community was. And it brings me to tears thinking we had to shut down um, our dining room, and it was like an hour wait of people just lined up to support to us to get to go. And I'm sure there's a lot of people frustrated, and I'm sure it was really, like, we've never done that. And so, um, but I think it's been a really experience of, uh, resilience is the word that just keeps coming, of um, Knoxville, of our team, of our customers, and stuff like that. And so, you know, we're at 50% capacity. For the inside dining. Inside, yeah. Um, it's gonna be nicer out, so I think that will help a lot. Um, I think it's, you know, for the community, just to remember to keep coming in. I think that's, you know, it's hard because we can cook at home and it's not really essential, you know what I mean, for us to be open. But I think, um, especially the local businesses, that we don't have the resources like larger corporations do. And so there is something about still coming in, still getting to go, even when it's sometimes just a little messy. And, We've never done curbside, you know what I mean? And at some point, it, we're gonna perfect it, you know what I mean? But I just think it's a, it's been a really big change, but also lots of gifts. There's like tons of gifts that have come from it. And I'm super grateful for really my team you know, all the crazy changes I did. I was in the hospital and I was like, you should try this, we should try this. And, it, yeah. and they did it and they just kept saying yes like sure we'll try it let's get more people in and so we just I think resilience is big and I think that I'm sure every restaurant will say the same thing so well and how this happened was uh, for National Pizza Day a few weeks back we ordered our knots yeah. for our whole office you know just to do something yeah small, so you know, but, um, well thank you for joining us tell, tell real quick so both stores are open yes and you do some community nights where can people go to yeah. find out yeah like, so always social media so check social media yeah. um, we're closed on Mondays, closed on Mondays. Um, for right now I don't know when that's going to change, but we're closed on Mondays, and so we want to use the opportunity on Mondays to do kind of fun things for the community, safe, COVID safe, but fun things. So like last night we did, uh, we brought a local chef, David Ferguson, and did, he cooked in our oven. So it was like so cool, and we did like the street course meal, but it was a safe environment to have date night, we had live music, so stuff like that. And so always check social media, um, try to do it once a month. Okay. Uh, and we'll kind of flip flop both stores to kind of get you know each community. But yeah, so doing that stuff and um, so check them out on Instagram, Instagram, or Instagram and Facebook, Facebook. Yeah. Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time of course. Thank and you. community. Continue to support them, and we will see you again soon on another Five Question Friday.